Are you tired of wasting so much time getting around FL Studio? Or are you just looking for an easier way of getting things done so you can be more productive? Either way, these shortcuts can all be used by music producers, as a sound designer, and even a composer for video games. Stick around, there is also a bonus tip at the end. Hey everyone, Jake from Transverse Audio here. There's a lot of different approaches to getting things done quicker, and some you probably know. These keyboard shortcuts will help you get your ideas down and get the job done faster. A quick thing to point out, if you're going to be using single key shortcuts, is that you have to turn off a feature called Typing Keyboard to Piano. And yeah, there's a shortcut for that too. You can use Control plus T, or if you want to do it manually, go up to Options, then down to Switches. There's also the option to use this button here on the top menu. Now that that's all sorted out, Let's get into the first one. This shortcut actually doesn't need to have typing keyboard to piano disabled. By pressing F4, you can quickly jump to the next empty pattern and have the naming field pop up with it. If you'd rather not name it, you can just use control with F4. The next shortcut is actually the arrow keys. And I know what you're thinking. Pretty lame, huh? Wait until I show you this. Probably the most practical and useful way to use them is in the file browser. You can quickly audition samples to use by clicking the up and down arrows as well as navigate through folders. Using the right arrow will either open the selected folder or replay the selected file, and the left arrow will back out and close the folder you're in. Shortcut number three works in the playlist and piano roll. You can quickly duplicate a section of notes by selecting what you want to copy over and press Ctrl and B at the same time. Make sure to select the space after the notes that you're copying before using this to keep the spacing you want to determine where it will be copied to. The fourth shortcut can be used as a panic button or really just any way to completely silence your playback in case the release, reverb, or delay is going on for too long. By pressing Ctrl with H, you can completely stop all audio from playing. The next shortcut is the Ctrl key. While holding it down, you can click on an individual note or pattern to make a single selection and drag to select multiple things at once. You can even create loop points by dragging along the bar line and right click without Ctrl to move the loop points. If you hold down shift with control, you can click on multiple things and add them to your selection. Shortcut number six is the shift key. You can click and drag to make a copy of whatever you clicked or selected. And if you drag a loop selection, you can move its position without affecting the notes or patterns in it. Now you can do a lot more with the control and shift keys, but those were just the most important and useful in my opinion. The seventh shortcut is alt plus U. This opens up the chopper effect and can be used for many things. It literally just chops up a note into different lengths. For an example, this can be used to make quick snare rolls. The next shortcut is Alt plus Q. This opens up the quantizer. If you play notes by keyboard, there's almost always going to be an offset from the beat, even if it doesn't look like it. Once you press accept, it will snap everything to the grid. Another one that is closely related to this hotkey is Control plus Q, which will perform a quick quantize. Tip number nine, by clicking and holding the middle then the right mouse buttons, you can quickly open a menu that holds all of the options that can be found in the top left menus on the piano roll and the playlist. By using control with Z, you can undo the last action in your current project's history and redo until you've reached the most recent. If you wanna undo multiple times, hold down alt with control and Z. It's good to get in the habit of using it with alt to go back and without it to go forward. Here's a quick set of bonus shortcuts, and they can be used in many other programs and are sure to save you a lot of time when in the studio. I hope these shortcuts will help you in making the best work you can a lot quicker. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe and hit the bell button to stay up to date on new videos. As always, thanks for watching.